Refugees are forced to rebuild every aspect of their lives when they seek asylum. Opportunities for women are different in America than in other parts of the world. Photojournalist Nick Kiefer and I shine the Here For You spotlight on the International Rescue Committee, empowering women. Meticulous detail in each piece of jewelry and design. It's like a talent she has. Arafat Abdullah and Charmin Sherber have many titles. Five minutes. Yeah. Creator. Draw it by her hand. Business owners. And made earrings. And refugees. We first uh, landed at Egypt, then from Egypt to Ibuchita. A place Arafat has called home for over a year. It's a hard decision to make, but sometimes it's not your choice to leave your country. But she considered consider USA as her second country. They're part of an economic empowerment group through the International Rescue Committee. Women kind of become self-sufficient, break out of their shells, set up their own businesses, or just get them where they want to be. Reframing perception. When I work with my clients, I kind of ask them, okay, what did you do back home? And some of them have run stores or run family businesses, which a lot of people would overlook that, but I'm like, no, that's like management. Like you can put that on your resume. Becoming the designers of their lives. Sometimes they might not even see how talented um, they are, their products are. Did you ever think you would be a business owner? Yeah. Gaining new meaning to titles already true. Entrepreneur, Waymaker, Pathfinder. The IRC is hosting a women's bazaar that's happening April 20th, and we have those details at KSN.com. It's just so amazing to see that organization working with these women and helping them just continue just to go even further than where they're already going. Absolutely. And uh, we got to see a little bit of those creations. Also, the henna. I was a little surprised. A lot of people weren't aware of what henna is, mm -hmm. and those are um, kind of the temporary tattoos that you see. It's uh, you made from a plant. And so it's cool to also bring other culture to Wichita and kind of expose people to that.